are you doing out here? Obviously you're armed and uh, you're in front of this so, business we saw burning last night, so what's up? So people are getting injured and our job is to protect this business and part of my job is to also help people. If there's somebody hurt, I'm running into harm's way. That's why I have my rifle because I need to protect myself obviously. But I also have my med kit. Hello everybody, so today I wanted to get into the new details that have emerged regarding the Kenosha shooting as well as addressing fake rumors. Now, something that I wanted to get off my chest right in the beginning to kind of state my biases is I don't support the Republican Party and I also don't support the Democratic Party. I consider myself to be a Democratic Socialist, the mainstream version, which is actually a Social Democrat, but the, the terms got a little mixed up in the mainstream eyes. But I digress. I'm not a journalist. I'm just a guy who wants to pursue his education, who reads the news, and I post my sources in the description box of each video. Now, to kind of give you guys like a 10 second background, even though I know that most of you guys already kind of know everything about the situation up to this point, was that Kyle Rittenhouse, 17 year old, he traveled from Illinois to Wisconsin to a city called Kenosha. So Kenosha was around 30 minutes away from where he was living which wasn't too far, but it is across state borders and it does show some sort of level of uh, premeditation. Now, when Kyle gets there, he allegedly received a rifle from his friend. And as you saw from the interview, his goal was apparently to help maintain peace, but I'll let you guys make of that what you will. So one rumor was that he drove across state borders with the weapon, which appears to be false up to this point. Now, here's what New York Times has to say about the situation. So about 15 minutes before the first shooting, Police officers drive past Mr. Rittenhouse and other armed civilians who claim to be protecting the dealership and offer water out of appreciation. He, Kyle Rittenhouse, eventually leaves the dealership and is barred by the police from returning. Six minutes later, footage shows Mr. Rittenhouse being chased by an unknown group of people into the parking lot of another dealership several blocks away. So that is when the footage started to come out uh, regarding the first death. Now, what makes this very interesting, though, was before the very first shot was fired, there's actually a muzzle flash from a distance at the same time a man began chasing Kyle, who, as we know, ended up killing the person who was starting to chase him. This was also on camera. So there was a, a, a muzzle flash. It was believed that somebody sh fired a weapon up into the air, which is very not intelligent, by the way, because the bullets come down. At the same time, there's another person who was chasing him. Okay, got it. Now, after the first shooting, Kyle appeared to call what people assumed to be 911, saying that he had killed somebody. He didn't call 911. He actually called his friend, admitting to killing this individual. Now, afterwards, when Kyle fired four shots at three people that rushed him, so this is when he fell and people started running at him, there's actually 16 additional other gunshots that rang out at the same time. Now, it's even unclear as to what those 16 gunshots were towards, like what happened, were they associated to this situation, were this is someone else, were they shooting at him, all of that is unknown up to this point. Now let's kind of dip our toes into the legal situation, I'm not an illegal expert, I'm just giving you guys my view of what's going on up to this point to try to make sense of like, where does the debate start, could he be prosecuted, so on and so forth. So, this is where it gets a little more interesting. So Wisconsin law stipulates that any person under 18 years of age who possesses or goes armed with a dangerous weapon is guilty of a class A misdemeanor. So yeah, obviously he cannot use a weapon because he's 17 years old. However, there is in fact a loophole that has exception for shotguns and rifles for 16 and 17 year olds so they can hunt. But Kyle was not hunting. Well, at least we hope he's not hunting people. But it does not appear that he can make the case that he was hunting, so therefore, this does not appear to be applicable. Now, the question is, can Kyle claim self-defense while committing a crime, which is holding a weapon, open carrying a weapon at 17 years old? Now, the answer there is not completely clear, because there's something that is known and something that is unknown. What is clear is that he had no legal right to defend a business. Also, the attacks happened after the business, so it's not even applicable either. So it turns out that unless you own the business or operate the business, you cannot claim self-defense or defense of the business. Number two, what is unclear is to what degree did he provoke the attack? And that seems to kind of be where the debate starts. So according to their law, specifically 2A, you cannot claim self-defense if you provoke attack. However, if you believe you're in serious danger of severe damage or death, you, you can defend yourself. So kind of this goes both ways from a legal standpoint. 
And so what we do know is obviously is he broke the law by carrying at 17. But now the question is, can he argue that he was not promoting an attack, but rather instead was defending himself? Like what, what has the emphasis? Considering the fact that it now turns out that there's gunshots before he started firing, as well as people chasing him, I'm sure he might be able to claim self-defense maybe. But again, I, I don't know. To be fair, I have no idea. So here's my opinion. People should not be chasing another person with a rifle, period. But you also can't be a vigilante breaking the law to uphold the law and order. And I think most of us actually agree with that. So what this does show, though, is the divide between the Republicans and the Democrats, because the Republican pundits aren't admitting that he shouldn't have been open carrying at 17 to uphold law and order. So he's breaking the law to, to support the, the law. Democrat pundits, so they, they can't seem to admit that you shouldn't rush people with rifles unless they're a shooter. But he, he, he wasn't shooting before they started rushing him. But anyway, guys, that is my two cents. Let me know what you think. Again, I'm just kind of developing my my views as the information continues to flow. Um, if you guys would like to support independent media as well, my Patreon is in the description box um, of each video. But anyway, thank you very much.